don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for the first time since the coronavirus hit eight months ago fans of the english premier league were welcomed back to the stadium with some venues allowing 2,000 fans back into the stadium the north london derby between arsenal and tottenham hotspur had fans in there and it was a record night for harry kane who became the outright highest goal scorer in the north london derby spurs took the top spot once again after chelsea were temporary leaders following their win against leeds united on saturday night a 2-0 victory with son and kane on the scoreline liverpool thumped wolves 4-0 on sunday night to go join top with tottenham hotspur manchester united's amazing form away from home continued as they entered the top four on saturday after a comeback win against west ham chelsea motor on as they also came back from a goal down against Leeds United to win 3-1. Olivier Giroud, who scored four goals in midweek with a goal for the Blues. Leicester's late win, secured by Jamie Vardy, was enough for them to get all three points to keep them in the top four versus Sheffield United. In Spain, Atletico Madrid went top of La Liga. Real Madrid had a narrow win against Sevilla and Barcelona lost to Cadiz. AC Milan remained top of the Italian Serie A after their victory. Inter Milan second with Juve in fourth. Bayern and Borussia Dortmund all held to draws over the weekend. Welcome back to the channel as usual. I am your host Selassie Fiawi. So today is the time for performances of Ghanaian players abroad as we usually do it on a Monday morning. And Andre Ayu was on target for his club side Swansea City as they beat Lotton Town 2-0. He scored a goal and provided an assist. His sixth goal of the season. Richmond Boache Iadom got the only goal for his Serbian side Red Star Belgrade in their 1-0 victory over the weekend. John Boy suffered a somewhat harsh red card in Metz's loss in the French league. Huh? Abu Francis of FC Nordjylland was on target despite his side losing and Bernard Mensah was also on target for his club side Beshikta. Subscribe if you haven't and click on the notification bell to get more updates. So it was a great weekend for Ghanaian players. Andre Ayu leading the pack with that scintillating performance versus Luton Town for Swansea City. But without much ado, we'll get into it, talk about the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. And I'll start off from England as I usually do. Sheffield United took on Leicester City. It was a 2-1 victory for Leicester City. Daniel Amati still not back for Leicester, but he has returned to training nonetheless manchester city beat fulham 2-0 dennis odoy was not in the squad for fulham reading took on nottingham forest in a 2-0 victory for reading and anti adam was not in the squad for reading brentford took on blackburn rovers a 2-2 draw this one Tariq fosu henry came on in the 77th minute for brentford Huddersfield Town took on QPR and Albert Adoma came on in the 82nd minute for QPR. They suffered a 2-0 loss to Huddersfield Town. Swansea City took on Lotton Town and Andrea you scored a goal in the 89th minute. He provided an assist for the opening goal in the second minute. A man of the match performance here from the Ghana Black Stars captain and Swansea vice a captain. Nam Hotspur took on Arsenal in the North London derby. Harry Kane and Son Hyoming uh, putting the Ghanas to a 2-0 defeat. Thomas Partey returned for them quite hurriedly in my opinion. Uh, he suffered an injury in the first half as they succumbed to that loss in the derby that sends them 15th on the league table. In Spain, Atletico Bilbao took on Celta Vigo. Jose Veidu came on in the 71st minute. He was in the squad uh, as his side uh, beats Atletico Bilbao 2-0. Granada took on Huesca. Kings Lefobi was not in the squad for Granada. It was a 3-3 draw on this occasion. In Germany, Fortuna Düsseldorf took on Darmstadt. And Kelvin Ofori came on in the 46th minute for Fortuna Düsseldorf. Kevin Danso not in the squad. It was a 3-2 victory for Fortuna Düsseldorf. Hamburger SB took on Hanover 96 and Patrick Chumesi played 84 minutes of the encounter. 
his Hanover side beating Hamburger 1-0. Greta Forth took on Heidenheim and it was a 1-0 victory for Heidenheim. Jamie Lowelle came on in the 66th minute of this encounter. His side lost 1-0. Paderborn 07 took on Nuremberg and Christopher NGAJ played 57 minutes, Nuremberg beating Paderborn 2-0. In Italy, Hellas Verona, they took on Cagliari and Ajiman Bedu Imanuel was not in the squad, his side drew 1-1 with Cagliari. Spezia took on Lazio, a 2-1 victory for Lazio on this occasion, Imanuel Jesse played a full 90 minutes. In France, Rhodes AF uh, took on Amiens and it was Nicolas Okoku playing 90 minutes for Amiens as they beat Rhodes AF 2-1. Lomote Imano was not in the squad. Mets uh, took on Lyon, a 3-1 victory uh, for Lyon as they beat Mets. Uh, John Boy, a red card in the 7th minute for violent conduct. FC Nantes took on Strasbourg, Alexander Juku back played the full 90 minutes, Majid Waris and no use substitute. In Belgium, Club Bruges took on St. Trudis VV and it was a 1-0 victory for Club Bruges. Uh, Samuel Asamoa played 70 minutes. Bulgaria, Sofia, Slavia Sofia took on Lodogres Razgrad. Bernard Tekbete came on in the 87th minute as his side uh, beat Slavia Sofia 2-0. In Denmark, Sojeisk took on Nordsjelland. A 2-1 victory uh, for Sojeisk as Kamal Dean was not in the squad for Nordsjelland. Abu Francis found the back of the net. Isaac Atanga played 85 minutes. Abu Francis's goal coming in the 52nd minute of this game. And Trellersborg in Sweden, they took on Halmerstadt. Fatal Safil came on in the second half. Harabai was not enough. His side lost 4 2. Turkey, Yeni Malatya Sport, they took on Istanbul Basaksehir, here. A free Aqua Imano played a full 90 minutes as his Yeli Malati Sports side held champions of last season Istanbul Basaksehir here 1 1. Antalya Sport, they took on Angara Kuju and it was a 1 0 victory for Antalya Sport. Joseph Painto not in the squad for this one. Beshiktas took on Kasim Pasa and Bernard Bensa opened the scoring in the first half of added time. He played 74 minutes. It was a 3-0 victory for Kasim Pasa. Serbia and Zlatibor took on Red Star Belgrade. Richmond Boachiado was on target for Red Star Belgrade. It was a 1-0 victory in the end. In Austria, Red Bull Salzburg versus Lyram Admira and Majid Oshimeru uh, played 71 minutes, his side lost 1-0 on this occasion. In Saudi Arabia, Damak FC beat Al-Ali Saudi for 3 Samuel Owusu got uh, 2 goals in this one. He played 46 minutes, scored in the 12th and 18th minute of this encounter. In India, Northeast United uh, beat on St. East, SC East, Bangal. And Tiapia played 90 minutes of the encounter, his side 1-2-0 on the occasion and in the United States, Columbus crew uh, beat New England Revolution 1-0. Jonathan Mensah and Harrison Affle are uh, playing the full 90 minutes. So that was it over the weekend. Performances of Ghanaian uh, players. Kudos to everyone. Andrea, you most importantly. Abu Francis, the youngster, 20-year-old, on target for FC Nordsjelland. It was a great weekend. Bernard Mensah also getting all the score sheets. Great to see them all in action. Which game did you follow over the weekend? It was a North London derby for me. And boy, oh boy, Jose Mourinho is trying to cause an upset here in the Premier League with Tottenham for Spurs. Do you think he can go all the way? Do you think Spurs can go all the way? Well, Liverpool and Cole will have something to say about that. I can assure you of that. That has been it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Have a great week.